my name is Mel Colley and I wanted to share a workout with you today. And we're going to start on the floor with a mat. If you haven't got one, just use a towel or something like that. Okay, roll yourself down, lengthen the legs out long, bring them together, squeeze the legs together, take the arms overhead. Okay, just settle your back into the floor, take a deep breath in, lift your arms. And as you breathe out, lift the head and the shoulders, and come back up to your sitting position. Lift the arms up towards the ceiling. Arms come back down by your shoulders, roll yourself down. Think about taking your pelvis away from your legs. Come all the way down to the floor. Arms reach overhead. Try and keep the ribs down towards your hips so you're not arching the back. Lift the arms back up, lifting from your chest, lifting the arms when you get there, dropping the shoulders, rolling yourself back down. And releasing the arms. And again, lift. Lifting from the chest, sliding the shoulders down. Coming up and releasing back down. Lovely. You can do two more. All the time focusing on your form. Here's your last one. Going to roll down. And release the arms. Bring the arms back overhead and down by your side. Roll yourself over onto your side. Come over onto your elbow. We're going to go into a side plank. So modified with the knees bent. Otherwise the legs are straight. Top leg in front. Lift the hips. Take the arm up towards the ceiling. Try not to sink into your shoulder. Stay lifted. Staying long in the neck. So the head stays in line with your spine. Hips are level. Think about the length in the crown of the head. Lengthen your tailbone away from you. Now if you're struggling, bend the knees. Hand can come down and rest on your side. You're just adding extra weight by having the arm up towards the ceiling. Makes it a bit more challenging. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. <laughs> You'll go blue. Please don't go blue on me. Nearly there. A few more minutes. Happy? Not minutes, seconds. <laughs> Got you worried. Count you down for five, four, three, two, one. Come back down. Well done. Come over onto your hands and knees. Take one leg back, tuck the toes under, and then take the other leg back, tuck the toes under. Pull the abs in, drop the shoulders. Bring your right leg in towards you. Take it back, change legs. So the toes off the floor, you're just bringing the knee in towards the chest. Try and stay lifted out of your shoulders so you're not sinking. Two more on each side. Last one. Knees come down. Get back into child's pose. Roll yourself up. And let's do the other side of the side plank. Okay, you ready for this? Drop your shoulder. Lift. One side's usually harder than the other. So if you were struggling on the other side, this side might be easier. Watch what you're doing with your shoulders. Try not to sink into that shoulder, that supporting shoulder. Staying lengthened in the crown of the head. Pull those abs in. <laughs> you okay? You shaking? Oh, not, best not, idea not to do this if you just had your dinner or just had your breakfast. Do it before you're gonna eat. Keep smiling, keep the length from the crown of the head and keep breathing. How are those hips looking? Good? <laughs> ah. You ready? Gonna count you down for five, for four, for three, two, one. Back onto your hands and knees. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, but the knee's gonna come across to the opposite wrist rather than coming in towards the chest. So take one leg back, followed by the other. Knee comes to the wrist, opposite wrist. So going across the body, adding that twist, working into the waist. How are you doing? You two more on each side. Try not to drop that head, keep the head lifted. In that plank position, come down onto your elbows. Come back onto your hands. 
comes in onto your elbows and onto your hands. Two more. You can do this on your knees, you don't have to be on your toes. Last one. I lied. Come down to your elbows and hold it there. Dip the right hip down towards the floor and then your left hip side to side. Five on each side. Two more. Hold it steady. Keep breathing. Drop your knees. Come back into child's pose. Whew. The arms out in front. Have the palms facing each other. Make fists with the hands with your thumbs up towards the ceiling. Lift your right arm up. Change sides. Watching your shoulders stay down. Two more on each side. Working into those shoulders, up the back. And release. Rolling yourself back up. Come back over onto your mat, onto your back. Feet and knees in line with your hip bones. Whew. Roll yourself up. Shoulder bridge. Hips are level, drop the ribs. Hold it steady. Lift the right leg off the floor. Bring it back down, change legs. Try not to drop your hips. As you move from side to side, you're going to do five on each side. You're resting on your shoulders, not on your head. Keep dropping the ribs. Use your glutes. You okay? Let's do one more on each side. <laughs> it's one of my favourites. Squeeze the glutes, lift those hips a little bit more, and then roll yourself down. Ready to go one more time. Roll yourself back up. Okay, you can stay with the alternating marching if you want to. Otherwise, lift the leg, take the leg up towards the ceiling, bring it down, lift it back up. You're going to do three on this side. Straight leg drop. Bend the knee, place the foot back down on the floor, change sides. If that's too much, just bend the knee and go with what the move you just did with the marching. Last one. Keep the hips lifted, place the foot back down, and then roll yourself back down through the spine. And when you get there, hug the knees in towards your chest. Let your hands come to the floor, feet and knees together, drop the knees to the right hand side, turn the head in the opposite direction. Come back to centre and change sides. And again, switch. And switch. One more on each side. Come back to centre, bring the right knee in, release the left leg, relax your shoulders, and then change sides. Hold on to that knee, release the hips, and release. Good work, well done. Okay, quite easy, straightforward moves, nothing too complicated. Whew. So if you could repeat that, rest for about 30 seconds after you've finished, um, and if you need to, if you don't, then just repeat it um, a couple of times, that would be great. And uh, let me know how you get on. Have fun. See you soon.